I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical gold and silver dealer specializing in custom strategies to help you get through and thrive on the other side of the reset that frankly, it should be obvious to everybody, we are already in the process of. And today we have some questions. So Dylan, could you pull up the questions for me, please? Okie doke. And we're going to start here. Um, now these are questions that came in from the different consultants. And where and how do I liquidate? How will I know that ITM or bullion companies, jewelers or pawn shops will be around? What does that look like? So do I go to a store and they weigh the metal for an exchange right? or will I have to convert to banks for the new digital currency? Lots of questions in that and we'll take them all. So I'm gonna do them one at a time. Where and how do I liquidate? Well, and, and how do I know that ITM or billion companies, jewelers or pawn shops will be around and what does that look like? All right, there have always been, I mean, going all the way back gold has been classified as money. And therefore, there have always been entities that change that real money into whatever the current currency might be. So while I can't guarantee this, the reality is, is if it's been that way for 6,000 years moving forward, I'm pretty sure it's going to remain that way because both gold and silver physical have use across the entire global economic structure. That means they have the broadest base of buyer, unlike intangible and fiat products, government-based money products, where they're just used in one place. So buyers can, can you know, go away and you have nothing. But that's not true with physical gold or silver. So even though I can't guarantee that, that we're gonna be around and everybody's gonna be around, hey, frankly, ITM's been here since 1995. So we've already weathered bear markets in gold and silver, but I think the big bull market lays ahead. And really what we're talking about here, you know, since you're working with one of our consultants, then you know you probably have a strategy. And part of what our big job is, is to help walk you through when, where, and how to use your gold and silver as we walk through this great reset. And, you know, people say, well, you know, every time I use the term reset, they think it's bam, it's a clap of thunder and it's an overnight. And that is the big reset, but we could also see that happen several times before the final one. And all of, you know, all of this money printing that they're doing now, that is resetting the valuation. That's why you hear the central banks calling for more inflation. The inflation resets slowly or almost invisibly the value of the currency. And frankly, the only difference between inflation and hyperinflation is the speed of the inflation. And that's been the brilliance of this scheme is the control of the rate and the speed of inflation. And they do that through interest rates. But interest rates have been anchored near zero since 2008. So there, that's why when you hear somebody say, well, they're out of ammunition, all they have is more money printing and more debt. But that can't go on forever. It's gone on a lot longer than anybody would imagine, and, but not forever. So yes, they will be around in some form or another. There will always be buyers of your physical metals. Uh, and do I go to a store and they weigh the metal for an exchange rate? When we get into the point where the currency is devaluing really rapidly and you go to the grocery store, well, frankly, in hyperinflation, they're, they're changing the prices like that as the currency is plummeting in value. That's why you've seen those pictures probably of you know people in Germany with wheelbarrows full of money 
but they got to the point where the ink had more value. So they were only printing on one side and guess what had more value? The blank side that they could actually use. But when we get to that point, yes, I mean, everything is tied into the computers. So you'll take your 10th of an ounce of gold, or I'm sorry, you won't take gold to the grocery store, but you'll take your 10th of an ounce of silver to the grocery store. They will weigh it out. They will have a test kit because they would much rather take in something that is maintaining its value than the paper currencies that are constantly losing their values. Uh, and will I have to convert for the new digital currency? When you need a tool of barter, I'll tell you in my personal plan, I anticipated other than, than the legacy gold and probably some emergency gold, I had anticipated on the other side of this reset that I would convert most into the new currency. But since I now see that where they're taking us is digital, so, you know, complete loss of privacy, complete loss of control of your wealth in that system, then I will be only converting what I need as I need it. And if the new digital currency is our new tool of barter, then I will only be converting my gold or silver, whatever I have left. I mean, I'll have gold because that's the way I'm positioned primarily but I will be converting as I need it. So not as much as I had originally anticipated, a lot less. Because the digital currency also enables them to go in and, um, you know, they can go as many, with, the, with paper currencies, with the current system, there's only two digits past that period. But with digital currencies, they can do that unlimited. And so they can, just like inflation robbed you of your purchasing power, they can rob you of your principal value without you really seeing it, unless they want you to, which is what negative rates are about. Uh, and Francois, a.k.a. Frank, asks, what would trigger a country reset versus a world reset and what would that mean for the price of gold and silver in regard to the fundamental value of each? It's a great question, Frank. And what triggers a country reset versus a global reset? All we have to do is look at Venezuela, Argentina, and a number of the other countries that have gone beyond that. So once they've gone into the debt markets and they've defaulted on that, well, then they're, then they're global lenders. If most of their debt has been raised from out of the country, then their global lenders stop lending, forcing the currency into a reset. Kind of like a lot of the sanctions that the U.S. has done in Iran and in Turkey, other places where that, that, that's why the many in the world are trying to get away from the dollar because the U.S. uses the SWIFT system to force that, but that's what does it country by country. As far as the world, it's because we are all interconnected and globally, uh, I don't know quite what that number is now, I should maybe look that up, but I do know that more than 90% of the world is anchored somewhere near zero, they can't raise rates. You know, I showed you a graph just the other day where as they try to run, as the central banks globally try to run off their balance sheet and raise rates, and it didn't last very long, it's particularly here in the U.S., but that's been true of every country that once they went and anchored at zero every time they tried to raise the rates, yeah, it didn't last. So that's the difference. We're all interconnected. We all have massive amounts of debt. It's a debt-based system. So we all have to reset at the same time. And that's why you're really seeing global synchronized. Have you heard that term in Main Street Media and from the IMF and the BIS and the World Bank and all these guys? It's everything is synchronized now. So that's why we have to have a world global reset because there's just way too much debt everywhere. And Martin asks, customer has a question about legislation concerning gold and silver being legal tender in certain states. Okay. What does it mean for states that do not pass legal tender laws? Example, California, can they purchase anything outright with gold and silver? Well, what it really means when the states have made it legal tender, that also changes the tax ramifications. So you, while you, 
if somebody will accept the gold and silver, you can certainly make outright purchases. And I think that once um, entities realize how quickly the currency is devaluing, you will see a lot more of that. But that means that gold and silver gains in terms of fiat would state, because federally that's a different story, but state, they would still be taxed. But I do also think that, well, we are, we're seeing more and more of a movement toward that. And perhaps we'll see that in California as well at some point. And Ronald Carter asks, what will you do when the government or whole world goes digital? Hmm. Gold and silver will not save you. Cash is gone. You can no longer buy, sell, travel, pay taxes, transfer your wealth to family. I feel it is com coming faster than we all know. Well, you know, okay. So when the whole world goes digital, I di totally disagree with you, Ronald. I, history has shown us over and over and over and over and over for 6,000 years that gold and silver will indeed save you. But when this happens, that's why I am concerned about confiscation. And that's why personally, I only buy collectible gold, the kind of gold you cannot hold in IRAs. So I do think that that will protect your purchasing power because I've got 6,000 years of history to go by. Not just a random opinion, oh, it's not going to save you. I think it will because history shows me that over and over. And remember, there are three legs to the dynastic wealth stool. Dynastic wealth is wealth that lasts in families at least 300 years, at least. So it's the kind of wealth that has lived through currency resets, wars, um, confiscation, everything. And gold and silver have lasted through that in physical form, not digital form, but in physical form. So that's just a random opinion. No offense, Ronald, but that's just a random opinion. I am also known as data gal. I make database decisions based on research. And you guys all know, I share all the links with you so that you too get to make an educated choice and an educated opinion. If you look at all of the links and you come to a different conclusion, I cannot tell you that your conclusion is not valid. But I know that my conclusions are very well educated and they are anchored in facts. So that's the way I prefer to go. You can no longer buy, sell, travel, pay taxes, transfer your wealth to family. Well, you know, that may come and cash is gone. Well, you know, there, de there's definitely a move to that. So we're just going to have to see. But I can tell you this. Historically, if you have gold and silver and you have enough of it, then you are in the elite population. Those that get to make the rules, the laws, or those that get to influence them. So I'm thinking that's my best shot and we'll see what happens. But I can tell you when March and April hit, I'm walking through my gardens. You need, look, no matter what's happening, you always need food, water, shelter, energy, security, barterability, wealth preservation, and community. No matter what, that's what we all need. And I'm excited because now we're really getting to build out that program a whole lot more. And we're going to be sharing that with you. So stay tuned. Uh, now I just did a, you're watching this over the weekend. So I just did a uh, interview with Sean from SGT and there's so much to talk about there. So you don't want to miss that interview. We probably have everything posted and where you can find it. And this coming week, I'm going to be on the Millionaire's Choice podcast with Tony Bradshaw. And it's a new, it's a new channel. So who knows what it's going to be? And that's always exciting for me. But if you have any questions about this or anything else, 
Just send them to questions at itmtrading.com. And remember to visit our blog. If you don't have a lot of time for my deep dives, that's where I post my synopsis. And you know, it'll take you two to three minutes to read it, but that's also where you'll find all of the links as well as all of the, uh, all of the charts and the graphs and the slides from, from my work. So I hope you found that you got a lot out of this. It's, I'm very happy to answer questions as always because, you know, it is time to cover your assets. And here at ITM Trading, we use the Wealth Shield, which is made of physical gold and physical silver that is in your possession. Because the truth is, if you don't hold it legally, you don't own it. We've heard forever, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Guess what? Yeah, it is true. So you want to have it out of the system, in your possession. That's our best shot. And until tomorrow, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.